Okay, so let's consider positive and negative work. Of course, um, what we were saying this earlier is that if you are adding energy to the system, that is positive work. And if you are uh, reducing the energy, if you are taking energy out of the system, that is negative work. Okay, um, so let's see here. An example is that, like we said, if, if your friend is on a bicycle and you are slowing down, and, and so your friend has a certain amount of kinetic energy and you slow them down, then what you're doing is you are taking energy out of the system. Okay? So you are reducing the kinetic energy. So the work done is then negative. Okay? So let's look at some of these examples here. Um, checkpoint 9.3. A ball is thrown vertically upward. As it moves upward, it slows down under the influence of gravity. So it has a certain amount of e kinetic energy and now it's slowing down. So consider the changes in the energy of the ball. Um, it, uh, so considering the changes in the energy of the ball, is the work done by Earth on the ball positive or negative as you throw it up? Okay, again, let's let's draw some pictures. Here, well, here's here's exactly the same idea. You throw it up, it moves. Um, so you, so the 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 force of Earth is doing work on it, and it's slowing down. So what do you say? Does it do positive or negative work? Well, of course, it does negative work, right? Because it is. It is reducing the kinetic energy of the ball. Okay? However, after reaching its highest position, the ball now moves downward, gaining speed. Gaining speed. Is the work now done by that same gravitational force, positive or negative? It's positive in this case. Because as it goes up, as it goes up, okay, its kinetic energy drops so that its velocity there is zero. And that is because of this downwards gravitational force. However, when it starts coming down, its, its velocity gets larger. And that is also due to that same gravitational force. So in this case, as it goes up, that gravitational force does negative work. And as it comes down, that same gravitational force does positive work. Okay? Now, that is kind of the intuitive way of understanding it. But um, another practical way of understanding whether or knowing whether you are doing positive or negative work is to look at this. You want to look at the direction of the force and the force displacement. What do we mean by that? Okay, so as you throw this ball up, right? As you throw this ball up, what is the direction of the, the displacement? The displacement, delta x, is up. And what's the direction of the force? It's down. Okay? The force is down, the displacement is up. Whenever these two are in opposite directions, you have negative work. But in this case, the displacement is down and the force is down. They're both acting down, and whenever you have these two um, pointing in the same direction, you have positive work. Okay? So, let's do this one final example, or uh, picture. So here the person is, uh, there's the point of application. The, the person's applying a force there. That's the direction of the displacement, the force displacement, and that's the direction of the force. They're in the same direction, so the work done is positive. So that's the one way. And then also we know that we've increased the kinetic energy of the system. So positive work is done. Whereas if the cart is moving in this direction, this displacement is in that direction, but you apply a force in the opposite direction, that is negative work. You are removing energy from the system.